Hey guys, what's up? Long time no see. All right, well, as you know, I've been bouncing around the tubes, um, leaving comments and answering your guys' comments, but I haven't posted much as far as videos. Um, it is hunting season now. Today is December 3rd. Well, it is Sunday, so there's no hunting in Connecticut on Sundays. So what I usually do is I hang out in the camper. I sleep in because yesterday hunting, you know, I was up before sunrise, out until about 1 o'clock, come in, have lunch. And then from about 3 o'clock all the way up till dark, I'm out in the woods. And then, of course, you know, uh, hang out, stay up kind of late, you know, on Saturday night. And then today, Sunday, I sleep in. All right, so I figured I would jump in and give you guys a clip of what went on in the summer a bit. Just kind of some bits and pieces of some videos that never made it to you guys. Um, just to kind of bring us up to date so that I can start posting more videos through the winter. And, uh, you know, be up to date with it. So right now, it is Sunday. I am going to make some bread. I have no bread. I, you know, for some reason, I just never brought bread with me this trip. And I figured, oh, well, I'll just make some. So I have a couple cups of flour and some other ingredients, and I'm going to make a couple of loaves of bread. But I'll show those at the end of this video. Right now, we're going to flash back to the summer where I was at the beach for three weeks, and I kind of do a tour of the campground. So let's, I guess, cut right into that now. And then I'll come back, show you guys the bread, stuff like that. All right, guys, talk to you in a little bit. Right, guys well this has been my home for the last three weeks give you a little tour I have the mobile 100 watt solar panel out um, but not for the rig I actually use it to charge the jump pack you can see here right now it's at 13.1 volts and then the charge controller you remember this setup from our live build a solar panel. I did end up changing the charge controller. Um, the other one still works, but I didn't like how it handled the, the fine stranding of the, the wires. The gauge was too big. And when you're gonna run, you know, 10 gauge to conductor so that you can actually put your panel into the sun. And then 10 gauge jumpers you needed something that can handle a little bit bigger conductor size so i went with that just a standard pwm but i use this to sit out here with the laptop and also to run the lights inside the easy up here so that's why I, I have the solar panel out in the sun in the setting sun i must say i don't know how much you guys can see of that without it being too bright but so we're out of here in a couple days, and I've been I gonna. Well, I have been. I will be taking a trip with the truck, just to bring a few things back to the house. Um, that's my ice maker here that I'll. I've shown in other videos. If you look up above, I'll put a card in from my pop-up video where I use that with a 750 watt inverter. And that's my champion inverter generator. Now, I don't need to bring that, but I do because we like to run it off in the woods where it's not bothering every, anybody if we should need to use it. Um, to tell you the truth, we didn't really need to use it this trip in three weeks because, as you can see, it is all sky. And with 400 watts on the roof and the 100 if I need it over there, there was no need. So, that other ice maker, the little door thing broke on it, so I picked up a new one, a smaller one. Uh, believe it or not, it uses about the same power as the big one. But ice is important, you know, especially for drinks and sodas and coolers and stuff like that. 
This is a two panel uh, Coleman, 12 watts total. It is two individual panels that I built for the jump pack. Problem is, um, it is only 12, volt, 12 watts and the uh, tonight I wanted to give it a good charge. So I only take that with me when I go to the beach or something like that and I want to charge my laptop or whatever. Cell phones, you know. Charbroil. Decent grill. Um, very hard to control the temperature. You know, I hear everybody talk about learning curves with it, but I'm not quite sure I like it yet. I put some chicken on, and it's like you couldn't help but burn the outside of the chicken before the inside of the chicken was actually cooked, even on its lowest setting. So I don't quite like that. Um, I think you need to heat it up and turn off the propane or something along those lines to get the uh, to get the temperature right because even on its lowest setting you'll hit 550 degrees in there which is not right under the awning you guys have seen that my lights some of you call it my disco lights or whatever they're LED shower tent yes we finally got the shower tent up for the the motorhome here remember when I did the plumbing again I'll put a card up above um, I added a hot water spigot, so I have my little chair here for putting stuff on, and then, uh, I've shown the shower tent, my little shave mirror. Yo, what up? And that does two things. It lets you take a very long shower if you want, and all you have to worry about is lugging some water. Um, here they let you use an outdoor shower. They don't let you dump your gray water from your tanks, but they do allow outdoor showers as long as you're not within 200 feet of water, which I'm not. I have my deer blind set up here. This has become my shed. I put firewood in there, boxes of it, and the little generator, stuff like that, which I did run right inside just open the windows helps cut down the noise even more and uh, I don't use it for hunting so this is what I use it for packs up nice and tight I'll show you how I have the shower set up you can see here this is the hot water that I added and I just used a Y connector to the cold and then I just turn those on and take a shower. We did get the window awning working. Uh, first time you guys are seeing that. See how it covers the windows and the slide. And then that's pretty much it. We run a security camera as you see here. And that's pretty much it. My cast iron. I didn't do a lot of videos, it actually yeah, I didn't do really any videos this trip. I was just kind of relaxed. I've been dealing with I've been dealing with a pretty massive back problem um, with sciatic. You know, you don't realize how mortal you are until you don't uh, you don't function properly, and that's kind of what has happened the past few weeks. Um, there was a few weeks there where I couldn't even drive. Uh, I couldn't sit for any length of time without it being excruciating. I mean, just getting in and out of my truck was was horrible, unlike anything I've ever felt before. So um, I know what the problem is. I have a couple bad discs. Uh, I've had the MRI years ago, knowing that I have one ruptured disc and two herniated discs in my lower back. So that's that. So things have been tough. Um, a lot of stretching, a lot of yoga. I did a few weeks of uh, non-steroid anti-inflammatory, such as Aleve, ibuprofen. And, uh, you know, I just don't like taking that stuff too long because of the stomach bleeding, things like that. You know, and I still like to have a cocktail, you know, and that just makes it even worse. So that's kind of why I haven't done the videos. I actually use this time to relax a bit and... Uh, you know, put my feet back on the ground, get moving again. 
Uh, still quite a bit of pain, but if I stretch in the morning, stretch at night, and if I have the opportunity to, I stretch once in the afternoon. It definitely seems to help. All right, guys, there's the campsite, and there's what's been going on. Uh, there'll be a few videos coming after this one uh, while we're here. And other than that, might be a couple before you see this video. But other than that, there won't be much from this trip. Um, the RV looks great, and it is running very well. Three weeks goes by quick, guys. I'm telling you. When you have a busy schedule and you know you want to take some opportunity to go to the beach, do some fishing, some metal detecting, the whole nine yards, it time just flies. All right. Well, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. All right. So what do you think of that campsite, guys? Pretty awesome, huh? All right. So it is Sunday night. Uh, the bread didn't work out so well. I didn't realize I didn't have any yeast. Go figure. I start making bread and I don't have yeast. I did have yeast in the camper. I took it out, brought it into the house, and uh, forgot I took it out. But the dough didn't go to waste. I made, I'll show you here, little uh, flatbreads. I got a lot of cleaning to do. I have some beef with onions and mushrooms in the crock pot that I let run all day, so I'll have that with it. And that'll be my dinner for tonight. Um, but I just wanted to make this video, give you a look at my campsite from the summer. I'm going to do my best to start uploading again, guys. It's been a while. Uh, I've done a few things to the rig. I have some odds and ends videos, but I've been all over the place uh, since July. I've been Florida. I've been, I've been um, I'll leave you with that. All new subscribers. There, there is more content coming. There's more repair videos and cooking videos and rig videos. Uh, for the non-camping rig stuff, go over to BTB Life Unscripted. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of that channel. And I'm going to try to upload some of my not pertinent videos there. All right, guys. Great to see you guys. Well, actually, I don't see you. You see me. Um, but it's great to talk to you, and hopefully I can get back in the swing of things. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.